Okay, so I'm going to show you um, a really easy tutorial to treat headaches. Um, so using your gua sha stone, um, apply just a little bit of oil and moisturiser to your face so there's a little bit of grind. Um, I've already got some on so I'm not going to reapply. So um, this one, this tutorial is using some more um, acu pressure points um, but we'll also be using um, the same gua sha brushing that we were before. So um, definitely use the first um, facial gua sha uh, tutorial that I've shown you uh, with the brushing and then add these points in as well. So um, the first point we're going to do um, is called Yin Tang and it is right between your eyebrows, also known as the third eye. So using the pointy angle of your gua sha, you're going to go right between the brows and using gentle little circles, you're going to apply some pressure here. And you can take a breath in as you're doing this. And out. And the line we're going to be working along to begin with is that of the eyebrows. So we're working in between the eyebrows. Then we're going to be working on the inner corner of your eyebrow. Then at the midpoint, which would be in line with um, your pupil if you're looking directly forwards. And then at the end of your eyebrow here. So we'll start with the middle. Again, using this end, the pointy end, gentle little circles. So, and you're feeling for, there should be like a little uh, dip in the bone and that's called a foramen and that's, that's where you want to be exactly. But if you're just using gentle pressure and um, just being in that area, it's absolutely fine. You don't need to necessarily pinpoint it exactly. Then moving to the midpoint of your eyebrow and doing the same thing, just being really gentle. And breathing in to the area as well, the breath really helps. In through the nose, out through the mouth, and then to the end. Breath in and out. You can go through this um, a number of times. I'm just going to show you once. So do the other side. Breath in and out. Moving to the centre of your eyebrow in line with your pupil. Little circles, gentle pressure, breath in and out. And then to the end of your eyebrow. You can just use um, the flat again, just following the arch and a little bit up, follow the arch, and that's really soothing. If you really have a headache then it's definitely worth putting this in a cool place as well, like the fridge or some cold water or some ice because that will have a really nice cooling effect as well. Um, so now we're going to work in points from the same places we're going to, so from the beginning of the eyebrows first, going in three points up the forehead. So the first one on the eyebrow, the second one in the middle of the forehead, and the third one on the hairline. So, a little bit of a wriggle there. Midway. And on the hairline. And again, middle of the eyebrow, middle of the forehead, and the hairline. You'll feel that some of these points are kind of more achy than others, so that's a sign that you probably want to do a bit of work there. So you can go back to those points and just work a little bit more, but just using gentle pressure. Midway. Okay, other side, 
And the more you practice this, the easier it will get. It always feels a bit funny to begin with to be using, especially a tool because um, it takes some time to get uh, more dexterous with it, but um, just stay with it because it, it will be worth it. I'm trying using my left hand, so I'm not gonna block the camera angle, but I am not so coordinated with my left hand. We'll try. <laughs> the less talented hand. <laughs> And end of the eyebrow, gentle pressure, midway on the forehead, feels nice, and hairline. Already you should be feeling a little bit lighter, a little bit fresher, stimulating all of those amazing energy channels. Okay, so now we've done the, uh, the top of the head, the forehead, we're going to come down and uh, work on some of the areas to do with the sinuses. So if you have a sinus headache particularly, this is really good, but also will just help with clearing anyway. So, um, if you take your little fingers and feel where we're going to go, so just above um, the nostrils, either side of your nose, if you start in the middle and then let them slide out, and if you take a breath in and press there, you'll feel uh, your sinuses open. You'll feel that sort of that rush of air coming through. So that's where we want to go with the gua sha. So using your um, acupressure point to end, we're going to find that area. So where the face meets the nose in that crease, just above the nostril, going to give that a little work and if you take a breath in through your nose you can hear the air <laughs> out through your neck light pressure only little circles other side in through your nose Out through the mouth. Great, so you should feel more open now. <laughs> so I'm just going to take that long side there and with the stone nice and flat, I'm just pinning my skin here so I'm not stretching it too much going to help open up that sinus. Same with the other side. Keeping the stone nice and flat. Not too much pressure. Okay and just going to finish with a point on the temples. So we're going to take Guasha stone and just over that whole temple area just nice really light pressure nice circles there and the other side <laughs> you should feel so much lighter after that. So those are some really nice points for headaches. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you points um, for the back of the neck and the front of the neck, um, which also really do tie into headaches as well. So maybe combine the two, but I've done them separately, so these videos aren't too long. Okay, so I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you.